Okay, hi. Welcome and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. Got a bit of a different look going on, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, new hair. This is the debut of the new hair, I guess. I really love it. It came out exactly how I wanted it to. It's just like summer highlights with a balayage, if you didn't, if, if you care. I don't think there's a lot else to say, to be honest. I think we should just play. I didn't really anticipate how hot this cardigan would get, but it's fine. I might go red a bit, but mind you, I usually do. So, is there that much difference? I don't really think so. So yeah, home sweet home. We just got back. It's five years later now. Sid died last, last part. I saw, he was in the mess as always. Otto. Yeah. Welcome back, Sid. They're all calling him Sid it's as well. Lock, so we hmm. That is interesting. Otto will want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. Okay, are you coming with me? No. Where's Togo? Look, it's Sid. Staying on this time. Yeah, they all think he's Sid. You survived! The dog dance autumn winds atop the rotten pier Of Sid's return the faithful sing across the blighted Shelves are closed! The sign outside should have told you! Yeah, the sign outside should have told you! Yeah, the sign outside should have told you! Um, have we any- Oh. Well, this is like the music. What's this? To marinate yard chocobo. Prepare hen by draining blood and removing both head and feet. Oathful, particularly the heart and liver, should be set aside for later use. Stir into a deep bowl watered wine, preferably the red variety, honey, salt, pepper, nutmeg, and any other seasonal savory herbs if you so desire. Add to the bowl the dress bird and let lay in a dark room for a single turn of the sun. Break the breastbone and ready your force meat busly, loosely. Chop together the heart and liver of the chocobo and mix it with a crumb of a stale something and something not soaked in oiled cream, beaten mace and as much thyme as will lie on something and fill the bird. They're not overly so. <laughs> Lard the breast with board bacon and spit the bird, tying it at both ends that the force meat not spill into the coals. Roast until skin is golden brown, taking care to baste regularly with drippings. Kenneth's recipe. What can I get you, Sid? Perhaps I should just have Blackthorn make me a new one. Honestly, Sid, you're too nice for your own good. Why not? Do you hear that, ladies and gents? The next round's courtesy of the realm's most benevolent outlaw. He looks so smug, and I love it. I don't need to hit. This is. That wasn't necessary. Sid. Oh, this is the training, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Hey, <gasps> you're back. You, you, uh, you didn't happen to run out of potions while you're away, did you? We've no. a fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutrement. I couldn't. Um, gear. Hi, <laughs> Karen. Is it business? Or pleasure. Let's see. Go on then. It's rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better I'll be here. It's rubbing me blind, you know. It's and time for best to price than that. Uh, oh wait, let's ask about the hideaway. And what can I do for you? Well, he won't hear me complaining. It's even roomier than the old one was. Got my own stores, my own little counter, and thanks to you, lot fighting the good fight, plenty of demand for me wears. The only drawback is the constant bloody racket. If it's not Doris and Otto barking their orders, it's Blackthorn and Bardolph banging away day and Still. night. If a pain in the ear hole surprise, I have to pay to be Sid the Outlaw's partner in crime. I'd say I've got myself a bargain. Has it really been five years since we left the old place? How I time flies. Like yesterday. 
We were all waiting to treat Sid to a hero's welcome when Kupkas lot turned up. Not that we knew it was them, they just poured in like a peg of rats, cutting down anyone and anything that stood in their way. Blood and bodies everywhere. There was an, a voice crying out for Sid to save us. In the midst of it all, I will never forget those cries, try as I might. Was that Gavs? You're our leader now, Clive. Promise me you won't let anything like that happen again. Promise me that come what may, Sid will save us. Sarah, then. That's so sad. Oh, he survived. Indeed. Not saying for you, dear. No, not really, my dude. And? Clive. Uh, things here ain't too bad. I suppose. I've got a decent hammer, a decent anvil, an apprentice that knows his hammer. <laughs> oh, and the furnace is alright and all, thanks to old Sid's bellows. The only the gods only know how I'd keep the coals hot enough out here on the mere without them. Not with bloody crystals, that's ah. for sure. I reckon you won't find a forge like this one anywhere else in the twins, and I count myself lucky to work it. Thanks for keeping me on. You need anything, you give us a shout. You've forgotten already, because I haven't. It was a right pain getting this place into shape, especially with the mess we were in. Not that it was anything new for those of us who put the old hideaway Still. together. That don't mean I intend on doing it again. Back to work then. Okay. Look, Sid. Squeaks wants to meet you. Hello, Rats. I, I can keep him, can I? Can't I? Hello, Rats. Gosh, you guys are making appearances in all the games recently. <laughs> they bloomed at all, is a blessing. This tun here pulls the black from the lake water and renders it clear. To be fair, we didn't see Gav's death, so I don't think Gav is actually dead. I want to know how Joshua survived. I've been thinking about it, and I was thinking that, you know how Clive and Jill were able to get out because of the feather? Maybe that was how, but I don't know if that would really make all that much sense. I don't know how to get to. Oh, is it Charlie there? says I can't go until I finish my sums. Good day to you, man. Book of sums. Old farmer Otto keeps both chocobos and antelopes. After five of his silk fell ill, he put them in his barn to rest. However, Otto woke them the next morn to discover that a leg eater had found its way into the barn and devoured three of the limbs on one of the antelopes. To make certain all remaining legs were accounted for, he did a tally and was satisfied when he counted 13. Question, how many chocobos were in the barn? Okay, so he keeps five of his stock. Wait, antelopes, they have four, right? How many chocobos were in the barn? Chocobos have two, right? If we could minus one from 13, six. Six chocobos were in the barn. Six chocobos. I love little riddles. Sid, what's the special occasion? The Norseman says I can borrow as many books as I can carry. This was all I could carry. One. Sorry, I said that in such a judgmental way. <laughs> One. Anyway. Okay. Let's go speak to Otto now. Can't catch a wink with all the clamor in the hole. Atrium's quiet this type of day. Kind time of day, time of day. Time of day. No one works longer or harder than I. This place is smell, huge. It was mostly luck. Lady Tyre is performing a delicate operation and must not be disturbed. I'll let her know you call. So she survived. <gasps> You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All in good time, my father's friend. All in good time. <laughs> Have you finished sorting those reports yet? 
All operations are suspended until further notice. Yes, Captain. I'll let the others know. Otto! Ah, oh, there you are, Clive. Word of your adventures arrived this morning. Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he's had to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye yeah, on the Republican okay. army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Hey, who's uh, it's Vivian? I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. Didn't think I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself mm. at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? I don't know. I had a back Long though some Rex dominion years. over northeastern storm has endured, Recent days have seen the Blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason, she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. This was the there is no better place fight to stage that was an happening. Army. From there, that we saw. the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Probably Clive. You were Sorry. born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now... As to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Okay. Even. Right. <laughs> Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Oh, him. I'll learn something new. You'll be the first to know. Now off you go. Okay. Charlie says I can't. Good day to you, sir. 
Good day to you, man. I don't know your name. I'm sorry. It really is like a lot bigger though. Nearly half the crates were locked. This plank will have to be replaced. Okay then. Off limits. That means you. <laughs> Through here. Historian dude. Most mighty introduction. Mithril is a material of both passing hardness and luster, and it is those two qualities for it which it is valued by the weapon and the armor smiths of the realm. However, there is a third quality of mithril that sets it apart from steel or shell, its durance. While even the finest steel may be melted by dragon's fire, become brittle in frigid climes, or turn to rust if not regularly and rightly oiled, mithril is, once made, internally unchanged. In this volume, I will explain how one might go about making, shaping, and employing with rule in one's work. That was so weird. The audio just cut out for me. That was very weird. Old Tome said the hideaway is built <coughs> inside an airship. Said it was called the Invincible. So cute. Lawsman Harpocrates. Harpocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. So were you. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. Oh, wait. A heavy leather-bound tome containing the findings of one anex anexama of Canva, a renowned theologian, the theologian who spent most of his life chronicling Valistia's diverse religious history. Ready? <laughs> Our resident scholar devours books faster than young Tet does lemon tarts. <laughs> Would that I could do the same, but alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's Head. But without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, <laughs> but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. Not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. Always got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> the twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it, Titan took much from us that night. From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Gav will be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. Does Clive's daughter know he's dead? My knowledge I, is yours. That... Oh, I, com I completely forgot about that. Look around you. Well, it is a far cry from the Imperial Library in Oriflam. In five short years, we have amassed more volumes than most men or women might hope to see in their lifetime. No longer are the tales they contain hidden away from all but the privilege. We have liberated them, that they may fill the minds of all who hunger for knowledge. Still, 
There is much more out there, and as long as I draw breath, I shall continue to gather what I can. Why? One day, a chronicle of your own adventures might even grace these shelves, or, failing that, the floor. It has been difficult, certainly. When Titan visited his wrath upon us on that dreadful night we lost March, he robbed us not only of our homes and our loved ones, but of that which Sid- What is going on? Why did these headphones keep getting out? But of that which Sid fought fierce- Fiercest to preserve our hope. Hope that we might never have found again had you not taken his name and become our light in the darkness. Had you not led us here. To Benumer and the Invincible, where among the ghosts of the fallen our journey can continue. Here in the belly of the Leviathan, untouched by the passing of a thousand years, does our hope burn together than ever, and here may it burn for a thousand more. I still remember. The day I first met Tet and Crow, chasing their father around the hideaway one moment, clinging to their mother's curtle the next. The twins' love for their parents was something to behold, so fierce and pure. When they passed, I feared the void they left in the children's lives could never be filled. Neither spoke nor smiled for years, hiding themselves away here in the shelves to bury their sorrows in the leaves of these tomes. And thank goodness they did. For I believe the stories provided proved a welcome distraction, and over time their pain faded, and now they laugh and frolic as they once did, if not with more vigour. They remind us that no matter how deep our wounds, we all have the capacity to heal, and that happiness lost may be found again. Oh, I have that was compiled so sweet. some new entries. If you would like to see them. This is so cute. It reminds me of like the um the old I have quite the find for you today. Final Fantasy games, like the original. Ooh. What subject shall we consider today? Oh, baby Clive. <laughs> I completely forgot about baby Clive. Yeah, who is Vivian? A scholar and strategist who makes her home in the hideaway, analyzing every shred of information that comes in from the wider world in order to divine the dispositions of the realm's armies and those who lead them. She offers her insight to Clive and that he might better understand the lay of the land. The moniker, Nine Tails, which she herself is fond, was gifted her by her fellow scholars in recognition of her ability to speak at length on almost any subject. Victor, a friend of Sid's and later Clive's who keeps an ever attentive vigil on the comings and goings in Dal Dal Dalmachia from his hometown of Cos Cosnice? You are always welcome, Clive. Okay, let's go back to the chambers. Ooh! Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. <laughs> I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. <laughs> ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right, I'll have a look. Are we gonna go we help Gav? Rest. Was her hair always that long? I don't feel like it was. Worthy of a letter. Have you been to the toll? I hear you ship is just fine. Chill. Hi, my love. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. And he left it on your desk. A wall of memories, oh. Created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid, this crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forged, and a legacy inherited. Oh. Let's do her. Ooh, chest! Mine! I'm scared what this letter's gonna say. Okay, reports, letters, and other important missives dressed to Clive are delivered to this reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. The Republic's play. Gav! Yeah. The Republican army marches on the Empire at Twinside, and the men of the rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you're done to wear upon my return. Okay. What does Gav have to say? 
The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randallar in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. Look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. No, I don't think that's it. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made oh. me question everything I thought I knew. Sorry. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. They know. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. The feather. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. He saw. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that. That's. He thing. doesn't know, though, that it's inside him. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. He just walks through the door. <laughs> hey, guys! What's up, bro? How you, dude? To a world without mother crystals. To sit. <sighs> My audio keeps cutting out. This is so sad. Josh! I like calling him Josh. I know his name is Joshua, but I like calling him Josh, okay? My little Joshy. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. Is ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you. Uh, my apologies, <laughs> I didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just. Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Mark <laughs> from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Are you gonna go find Very her? Very well.
gathering storm. What is going on with the audio? The okay. Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto. Oh, sorry. Right. Oh wait, I don't like how the music suddenly got very eerie. I mean, the, the, the title of the mission is A Gathering Storm, but that's besides the point. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood oh, no. was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastbourne, oh the Empire's been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Hmm. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Okay. Martha is a survivor. We'll find her. Uh, find the curse breakers. Clive. Is everything all right? Not really. Inaccessible? Are they here or are they somewhere else? Welcome back, Sid. Hi. Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. The lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Ted <laughs> does our Have lemon we met tarts. Her? I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Do not need bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere, which is why I mean, we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens, I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. Okay, that's where we need to go. Let's travel. Oh, here! Three reeds. I remember this place. Ooh. The Duffer looks different. Is Togo with us? 
and Jill. Oh, this is weird. It's like everything's changed. I mean, everything has changed. And yet we're back here once more. It's just, it's eerie almost. Easier than felling a forest, I said. Enemies slain. I'm really sorry if you're getting that little like popping noise. I've restarted my PC, I've turned my headset on and off, I've done so many things, it's still coming up for me. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time okay. to head home. Honestly, this 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 is great. I love this. It's so easy. The way I was like, it was, oh, I, like, I don't see the point in it. Like, what's the point? Uh, no, I see the point and I love it. Thank you, game. I really appreciate it. It's great. It's so great. Okay, here we go, dude. Finish with that long back, Sid. Here you go. Well, did you find me I some did. wax? Find is one way of putting it. Here you go. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Ew. Uh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. I like that name. Yeah. Same as me old Isn't man. Isn't that the name of the guy in he Shadow of the Colossus? He was a ferryman himself back before the blight or came. Or is the horse? The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, he'll... Sail another day. I'm glad. Quest complete. Okay, now we can go over here. Mother's rest. I'm scared as to what we're gonna find. What oh, happened to us? Come on. We need to find the others. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. What was all the screaming and shouting? Has Martha been captured? Well, at least the bridge is held up. Gotta count your blessings somewhere. Is the guy who fixed it even still around? Who knows? So it better stay up, because otherwise there is no fixing it. Are any of you hurt? The elevator's broken. Oh, I can see you, Sid. The soldiers who did this are long gone, I'm afraid. We're doing what we can to treat the wounded. Match is still here, though. Take care out there, eh? Let's get you to a physical. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Because he's not. I also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials descended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care and of the we'll people go. here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Mm. 
Paul is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. And to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. Soldiers from the garrison just stormed in unannounced and started smashing up the place. I thought the elevator was broken. Okay, I'm gonna have to see if these are any better because my other ones just, I was getting so frustrated with them keep cutting out. Because the thing is, I couldn't tell if it was being picked up on the recording or not. And it was just getting so annoying. And it's always so much harder to like concentrate and focus on the game when you've got technical difficulties going on and you don't know how to fix them. So I, I just, the amount of times I've like stopped recording and started it again today because the audio keeps cutting in and out, I, too many to count, actually too many to count. They killed my family. They called oh, our they country. got rid of all this stuff in the way. Okay, well that would have been nice to know before I went down there, but okay. <sighs> you guys went in. I love how much they all care about each other. Like, you can definitely tell that they are. Get there on time. Look. To be honest, up ahead. I'm just get Martha. Martha, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Okay. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields. That's what happened. The Black Shields. The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then, they may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Good luck. Why can't that dude up back there go and get Martha? Black shields? Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far, even for the Empire. And get that and swerve. No, it's fine. They don't see us. It's cool. It's cool. You do, though. <laughs> This one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I wasn't about to let that go. Seven go off. Seven. Seven! Seven! So wait, when she was talking about calling for the icon, is it that he Are can't- too late? He's trying to there might still be someone inside. Remur, or can he not control Ifrit anymore? No. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Mm hmm. <sighs> that bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. <gasps> you see that. Colluding again. with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. <laughs> you think I care? And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. And you will be punished. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night have. and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. Is that genuinely meant to scare me? How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. You really <laughs> Bella's, his mom. Is that all of them? I think so. Okay, that was a bit weird. Dark cars gather complete. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Where? Inside? I'll do him. The abbot. <sighs> the bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. <gasps> He's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? Is there anything they we are. can do? 
Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg his aid and tell her. He just didn't know that he's her fault. I, I shall. Kid, where are you? Kid. In here! We found a survivor! I won't lie, that sounded like Clive. Sure. He's gone. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. The bears, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. What is... I've gathered the bearers' remains. Oh. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Casting and return to Martha's place. In all honesty, I'm kind of surprised that Martha is still alive. I didn't think the game would allow her to be. Yeah, this game really just is not afraid of killing our characters, which is really um, <laughs> interesting. Marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade. Good thing spotted us all. Of course, it's a floating eyeball. <laughs> it's a floating eyeball. <laughs> Me. All yours, Cole. 
got him. You didn't see that coming. <laughs> But because, like, did he do that on purpose? Because, like, the whole I thing. I feel like he that did. That must be the bridge. I feel like he did. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. So I know that's not the end of the mission, but I am going to go ahead and leave that there for today's part. It was quite heavy. It, this game can get really, really heavy, and it is a lot. But I'm kind of used to it now, well, I? I think I'm kind of expecting it. I am really excited to see where the game goes still. I am definitely more or the most invested with Joshua and Clive. I'm kind of sad that, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about the fact that Clive knows that Josh saved them, but they didn't even get like a proper reunion. And I don't really know what's going on with Joshua. He took in the beast entity that wants Clive because there's a prophecy that has to be fulfilled and Joshua knows about it and how did Joshua even survive I don't know I hope that is it kind of explained but anyway I am gonna go ahead and leave that there for today's part thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of Final Fantasy 16 okay bye